off camera I copied and pasted the content into my Big Bang page and here's what it looks like. The first thing I'd like to do is add in an image. Underneath the heading I'm going to go image SRC which stands for source and then it suggests images and inside images it suggests Big Ben. I can close off that tag and then mouse over and it tells me the image is 600 by 318. This means I need to set the width to 600 and the height to 318. And you should put speech marks around those numbers. What I've done is I've then gone ahead and validated this code. And as you can see, we have a problem. It's complaining that we don't have an alt attribute. If we look at the page, the image does display. And it's easy enough to fix that validation error by going back into our code and writing a description of the image. This is extremely important to ensure that our site is accessible to people using screen readers. The other thing I'd like to do is make this into a hyperlink. To do this, I go a href equals and I start a speech mark. I then go to the end of the URL, tap Control C to copy, close my speech mark and close my A tag. Then inside, between the two angle brackets, I can paste in the URL and push save. Now when I have a look at the site, we can see that we have a working link. Unfortunately, when I mouse over it, it becomes invisible. To fix this, I'm going to go into my CSS, and my first step is to grab the color code for the light yellow that we used. Then I'm going to scroll down, and for my links and page, where it says the hover is black, currently invisible, I can paste in that light yellow and of course edit the comment. While I'm here I'm also going to change this from dark blue to pale grey. Now if I go back to my reloaded page and mouse over the link we can see that we no longer have a problem. I've also revalidated the Big Ben HTML and the issue we had before has disappeared and if you do change a CSS, it's a good idea to just check that you haven't made any mistakes by validating that as well. One thing you do need to do is click on the hyperlink that you created earlier and check that it does actually go to the Wikipedia article on Big Ben. What I'd like you to do before watching the next video is repeat this process for the other tourist attractions. A big hint is to go into your navigation Copy the file name that you're wanting, so Golden Gate Bridge will be your next job. Go Control shift s save the file with the correct name, edit the heading, check that things work, and then replace the content.